you absolutely need to let go of the patterns of the past of any frustration with your marketing to open yourself and your business up to its full potential. I'm Yvette Mayer and you're about to discover how the human design gates can help you create more engaging content to grow your business. In each episode, we explore a specific gates, unique frequency as a cosmic content code. Let's dive in. In this episode, we are exploring gate 44, which in human design is the gate of alertness or coming to meet. Has a real gatherer style of energy around it. I refer to this one in my cosmic content codes as intuitive potential. When we're talking about intuition, it's no surprise that this gate sits in the splenic center and we've been through quite a run of splenic gates in the transit if you're watching these episodes every six days, nearly every week. And this one is a little different in that we've been through some splenic gates connected to the root. This one is connected to the heart. So it definitely has a different flavor of energy. And in fact, it has a lot of karma to it. Like when I say releasing the patterns of the past, like the past before you were necessarily even of this earth. So in the low frequency, we'll talk about this a little more. But first, let's talk about if you happen to be born under this particular gate, so you are a personal brand with the 44, what could that mean for you? This energy is about letting go of anything that's come before and trusting that no matter the past or the history, that human beings are really here to collectively thrive and survive because there's always the opportunity to break through, to keep going and eventually reach more of your potential. And I say your potential, but also the potential of others. As I said at the beginning, there's a lot of uh, collective energy in the 44. So you're a brand that also sees the potential in others and how people come together as a group. And make no mistake, this is about transformation. It's about coming together to create the new, to rise through anything that's happened in the past and see the world in a different and better way and collectively join forces to transform. Now the 44 transits through the human design solar transit from around the 1st to the 5th of November each year. So if you're watching this in real time, use the cosmic content prompts at the end of the episode. Yes, they're at the end. So make sure, make sure you watch all the way through. If you're new around here and you haven't done so yet, go and click that subscribe button now. This is the 64th episode in the series. We have now filmed every single gate in the human design system as part of a 64 cosmic content prompt series. And yes, you wanna be connected to all 64 of them. Now we're gonna dive deeper into the 44, which I call intuitive potential to help you appreciate the full spectrum of this frequency. So we're gonna start with the low frequency and then move through into the high frequency. And shout out to Richard Rudd and his Gene Key work, which has helped inform this entire series. In the low frequency, the energy is about interference. Now this is an interesting one. It speaks to the fact that there really is a karmic dance going on. That even though we think we're fully in control, yes, there is some sort of system that is orchestrating the world we live in. But within that, from a personal and individual level, we can interfere. We can make choices or go off script and we tend to do this in a self-sabotaging way. So this is about acknowledging that you may be in this low frequency, you may be interfering with the system, but having the presence and the self-awareness to see that it's potentially coming from genetic baggage. So how can you see this, work through it, and get back into alignment and free yourself from any limitation? Now it's important that you do this because this interference has a sneaky habit of keeping you from experiencing positive relationships. And we do not 
want that. Speaking of relationships, in the high frequency, this is a gift of teamwork. It's very people focused. So if you happen to have the 44, this is so splenic. You are likely somebody who has so much intuition that you can literally smell somebody's true nature and will in a heartbeat sense when something is off. Or somebody, I might add. You're also going to be able to identify who are your people and bring them together. This is teamwork after all. It's about orchestrating the right connections to help create a world that is on the right path. And now it's time for our three cosmic content prompts for gate 44, intuitive potential. Reminder, we are talking about letting go of things in the past and that is gonna be a big theme in our cosmic content prompts. And so for our first one, you are going to be sharing a bad habit that you have released from your past. And don't forget to make it relevant in terms of how it has afforded you the ability to keep going and to succeed in your particular niche or field. For our second cosmic content prompt, what have you had to let go of to become your most authentic and brilliant self? This is a personal share about you and potentially something uh, of a higher nature or a higher order than a habit. For me, I've had to let go of drinking to be my most authentic and self-expressed. It's something that I did six years ago, just as I walked out of my corporate career. And I am so glad that I did because I don't believe that I would be able to create so much success this body of work show up in this high frequency like I do if I didn't make that, I was gonna say sacrifice, but it doesn't feel like that anymore. It feels like an absolute blessing. And I'm sure in me sharing this, you can see how powerful this prompt is in connecting you with your audience. And for our third Cosmic Content Prompt for Gate 44, Intuitive Potential, let's talk about teamwork. Who is on your team? This is an opportunity to share that with your audience. And it doesn't mean you have to have a team in the business sense. It might be a team of supporters of your work. It could be a coach. It could be your family. Like who is actually there in the background that makes it possible for you to show up and be your brilliant self as a business owner, as a marketer, and as somebody who is absolutely changing lives. Do you have the 44 in your body graph? If you do, let us know now in the comments below and share where it sits in your body graph as well. Now, if you don't know if you have the 44 in your body graph, make sure you go to my website now. There's a link in the description that'll take you right there. You're gonna download your chart for free. Not only that, but it will come with a series of emails to help you understand what you're discovering about yourself and how it applies to your marketing. 